Despite the smaller crowds on Saturday, protesters say their message remains just as big. It doesn't matter how many people show up, as long as the spirit's here. Chilly temperatures didn't keep protesters from giving their take on Governor Walker's first year in office. I think what's happened to our state has been tragic. I think we've been divided needlessly. And I think things have to change back to where we go back to the Wisconsin way. I'm extremely concerned about um, Governor Walker's agenda and also the, the, the very damaging policies that have been put into place in the last year. Some say the budget repair law that eliminated collective bargaining rights for most public workers radically shifted Wisconsin politics. One year ago, I wasn't involved in politics at all. Um, in, in fact, I avoided politics until Scott Walker came to office and introduced his budget bill. That's when I got involved and my life has changed quite a bit. Um, it's affecting my job, it's affecting my personal life. Supporters of Governor Walker did not attend Saturday's rally, but say his reforms are moving the state in the right direction. Governor Walker has come in and balanced a $3.6 billion budget deficit. We've already created thousands of jobs. Uh, this movement has been reduced to the most extreme liberal fringe of the Wisconsin Democratic Party, and that's what we saw out there today. While February 11th will go down as a landmark day for Governor Walker, for protesters, the date marks the beginning of a battle for change. We have to still work very hard in order to change um, those policies and work for a better future for our state. Protesters say they hope Saturday's rally will give them the momentum they need to help get Governor Walker out of the statehouse. Margot Spann, WISC News 3.